So guys, along with some of the other stuff I've been talking about today, Gravely's also got a brand new deck design in their lineup. I got Trey coming over here to talk about the brand new Gravely Mach 1. I'm back here, I got Trey. This mower, I don't know anything about. You guys know me, I don't run sit downs in my business. I run nothing but standards, but they have a new deck design that they're extremely excited about. And just from you talking about it, the idea to me was, I'm like, okay, that, that makes sense. No more clumping, no more any of that stuff. But let's let Trey talk about it and show you guys why he's so excited. Hi everyone, Trey Humphreys here with Gravely. I wanna walk you through our new ProTurn Mach 1. The ProTurn Mach 1 is based off of our ProTurn 200 chassis, but we integrated our high volume output or HVO deck into this. What the HVO deck is, is a true tunnel deck design. What the tunnel deck does is gives you, provides place for the debris to travel from blade to blade without interfering with any of the blades in its path. What that does is ensures the blades are not slowed down as well as it gives a clean, clear path for the debris to go and give you even dispersion of, of tall, heavy, wet uh, material. The blades are set back about four inches from the leading edge of the deck, giving the grass time to stand up and recover before being cut, as well as the blades having an inch and a half overlap, ensuring that nothing makes it through between the blades and leaves any type of streaking. Uh, the rest of the machine is, like I said, is based off of our known Pro Turn 200 chassis. It comes standard with a high quality suspension seat, our oversized steering grips and controls that are known on our Gravely product, a uh, 13 gallon of fuel capacity, 5,400 transaxles and a 31 horsepower Kawasaki FX engine. The reason we release this deck is for those type of properties where you are dealing with heavy overgrown properties that are not maybe maintained every day. So we'll say municipalities where they're maintaining, uh, say the water treatment facility or a large acreage owner that does may not mow every week and the grass may get away from them. Also, it works very well in some of our southern grasses like a Bahia grass that cuts, that gets stocky and difficult to cut. This deck is able to cut that material down in one single pass. And I was just going candid off camera with Trey a second ago talking about any other manufacturers or any other mowers that are dedicated to something like this. And if you're one of those people that has those issues with that tall, nasty, wet grass that's raining all the time in Washington, it's raining all the time wherever, Doing a mower just designed to that, I think is a great idea because not every mower is gonna work well at every application. Correct. And a lot of these people think no matter what mower you buy, name a brand, that it's gonna work in every area. And it just, it kinda doesn't work that way. You can specify things to where they work great in certain areas. And I'm glad to see you guys are doing something like that. Thank you. Yeah. Something I was just talking to Trey about on the design of this deck, I'm gonna have him kind of explain in the most layman terms possible for you guys. They have, what do you say, a four inch gap? Four inch leading edge, the closest blade on the other end is four inches set back from the leading edge. Okay, and why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? When the grass is um, knocked down by the leading edge of the deck, it gives it time to stand back up before being cut. Gotcha. Also, the tunnel, as I mentioned earlier, starts off at five inches deep on that end and tapers up to seven and a half inches deep at this end. So as the material on the far blade, the trim side is cut, and then it comes to the center blade, that, that's just a volume of material increase as it comes across. And by the time it gets here, you have a large tunnel area for that material to be carried in. That's where you get that ability for it to be cut and not bog the blades down um, during normal cutting conditions or in heavy cutting conditions. Yeah, because this mower, not only for cut, but disbursement, yes. getting it in and out of the deck as fast as possible. Correct. If you guys know mowing, that is one of the big key factors of why your cut quality might be lacking. The main focus is getting the grass in and out of the deck as fast as possible. If you've got a mulch kit on a mower and you're mowing eight miles an hour nonstop back and forth, probably not gonna get the best cut quality. But something like this, if you're mowing that thick, tall, heavy grass, even thick, stocky grasses, for it to be able to be knocked down, come back up and be cut in and out of the deck as fast as possible. If you want that clean cut, 
with limited bogging and limited clumps, this is gonna be one of those decks you guys might wanna look at. So yeah guys, more videos to come, more stuff to do down here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about that new deck design for what they're doing. Uh, let's get into filming some more stuff, guys. Like always, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.